Coach, your first two games of the season are in the books now. A big win over Texas Tech and a one nothing loss to the number one team in the country. What did you see from your team this past weekend? Uh, you know what? For for first two games of the year, we didn't really have an exhibition game. I thought it was a, a really good showing for us. Um, I thought we showed the growth um, from the spring, the work we put in in the spring. Um, we really possessed the ball well in the first game especially. and. And uh, defensively, we were magnificent on the week, and I was really proud of them. You mentioned the defense, and obviously Dominique Randall's a big part of that, Pac-12 Defender of the Week. What does she bring to this team? Uh, Dom has, uh, might be the most ultimate competitor, I think, on our team. Um, and she brings that fight every time she steps onto the park and takes uh, the challenges from the, the forwards that she plays against very seriously. Um, and so she brings a, an attitude. Um, and I think between her and, and the addition of Sammy Joe in the net, uh, we, we've got a better presence and attitude there uh, with, with the full line. Offensively, your goal coming courtesy of Haley Height, just a freshman. Yeah. How big a, has she been addition-wise? And you know, where do you expect these goals to be coming from this season? Uh, you know what? The, the goals will come a, as the team continues to gel from hopefully a variety of places. Uh, but Haley, that's the kind of the player that Haley is. She puts herself in good positions. She's not afraid of the moment. Uh, she'll take risks. She'll take chances. Um, and we expect her to kind of continue on that, that road. You played Florida State really tight. And again, they're the number one team in the country. What did you see from the girls that's maybe encouraging going forward? Um, I'll start with our fitness level. Uh, I thought we played a really tough game on Friday. And to come back and to, and to have to amp it up again on that Sunday, I thought that was really, really um, important and, and great for us on the day. Um, but we're just, we're playing a little smarter. We're playing a little, a little bit better tactically. Uh, and I thought that was a big part of the game on Sunday for us. We, we forced Florida State into some areas and um, dealt with, the, dealt with the, the possession that they had really, really well. Not, we didn't become impatient. Um, we stayed with the game plan and, and it worked out for us. Midfield, you, you have the addition of Andrews, and then you move Freeman up from the back. Yeah. Uh, what have you seen from them so far? Um, I thought uh, Mandy Freeman, Morgan Andrews, Nicole Mullen did an absolutely wonderful job on the weekend. They, they have a chemistry about them, um, Morgan and, and Mandy playing together with the national team. But I thought they did a really, really good job of just kind of simplifying it over, over the course of the weekend and, and, and just finding some symmetry. Their movement was good. Um, and, and their technical quality was, was really, really, really uh, something that stood out over the weekend. You have UC Riverside on Friday. What improvements do you want to see and what do you expect to see? Well, UC Riverside, um, it's their first home game. They're going to bring a lot of energy to the game. They're a pressing team anyway. Um, they're they're going to they're gonna bring that attitude to the game. It's going to be important for us to be able to uh, keep our head about us and, and, and settle in a bit and, and not get not get too frazzled by the pressure that they bring. They're an athletic squad. Uh, they're a very determined squad. So it's going to be a good one for us.